course, that is a byproduct of a lifetime of repetitions in the kickboxing space. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center. Ladies Russia. and gentlemen, Here's Bruce Buffer. this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin! And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! Okay, could take yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Back to the jab now, no good. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Beautiful strike. That right hand landed. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, and making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Slips that left hand. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. That was a thudding leg kick. Nice punch by Lee. Oh, beautiful knee to the body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage, and he put it to good use there. Throwing with authority. Ooh, what a punch. That 
strike blocked by Lee. Oh, nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Just missed with the left there. Big call for punch land. Now he gets back to range. Able to check that kick as well. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, big left hand there. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. This guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Real nice body kick lands. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Misses again with a right punch. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. That's a big strike right there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Ten seconds now to go in the round. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Great work. You won that last round. This round, you want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. I want to see you work. All right, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, and really shades Ready? of the Diaz brothers in that Ready? previous round. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy, just a lot of efficiency on the field. Very, very efficient. Good round in the sense that he did not throw everything with absolute power, but he was touching the entire time. Then every now and again, he would set down on a strike that was really damaging his opponent. Nice punch lands over the top. There's no give on that leg kick. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Nice straight punch. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Left hand punch in the clinch. Big body kick lands. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh man, head kick land. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab 
he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Blocks the shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Out of range with that one. Body kick is blocked. Looking to land the right just out of range. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Clipped him with the right hand there. Three, two, three. Great punch landed with so much power. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. He does a great job of blocking all incoming strikes. Oh, and yet another knee finds the target. So a huge moment here. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Ooh, what a punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Lee gets touched by that kick there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Head kick. Goes to the body there. Tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he's landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab with meaning. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is gonna have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, big shot, man. Timely defense there. Huge block for him. Just missed with that right hand. Plus right hand is true. Big body kick. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. What a tricky head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Bleeding from his cheek now. 
Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this one. Nice punch there by Lee. Lands to the body there. Well, punches and punches for the longer fighter. He landed another strike. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed up there. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talks to your toughness. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. That one's up here. Nice strike. Oh, big head kick lands. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Trying to find a home for that right hand. Lee gets hit with a kick. Back and forth we go. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Hands higher, hands higher. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big head kick lands. Way to hide that leg kick. He blocks the punch. Let's focus. Nice kick. Oh, looked like he was trying to set up the head kick, but he misses on that attempt. What a punch. Just misses with a left hook there. tonight and it shows. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. 20 seconds to go. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well placed knee to the body. Nice loop and punch. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Lee gets caught with that punch. Right hook to the head block.
Nice kick. Some nice back and forth action here. Right under the elbow, the body kick lands. Lee's hook shot blocked. That one was telegraphed. Good job by the defense. Oh, beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Try to establish that jab. Look how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hands up, hands up. Big leg kick land. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Three minutes to go. Nice head kick. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Good punch, Lance. Hook attempt now, blocked though by Lee. Real sneaky body kick. Just misses with the jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Good by Lee. Now he touches him with the left. Punch coming, it's blocked. It's okay, keep going. Under two minutes to go. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. May not be a bad idea to start to check some of these. Nice punch lands over the top. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Final minute now of round four. Nice body kick. Big kick. 45 seconds remain in the round. Put your together. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Punch over the top. 30 seconds to go. Just misses with the right hook. Right hand on point. 15 seconds remain in the round. Can't take many of those, you better check. <laughs> 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. A lot of high-level highlights from that last round, DC. Take us through the replay. If he fought like this, I would be comfortable entering him into a K-1-level right? kickboxing competition. He's that good at finding and landing those kicks at will. He needs to continue to do this as the fight goes on.
All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this he round. He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand, jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh, left hook to the head, it's blocked. Oh, he slips there and then counters beautifully. His coaches are certainly gonna like that. They've been begging him to take advantage of his reach edge, and he certainly did there. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything block. Blocks the shot. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Two minutes now to go in this one. Look for your double leg. Look for your double leg. Shoot. You got to check these low leg kicks. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter of Ace. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good tonight. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. What a body kick. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Lee's kick attempt, that one was blocked. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Tried to go to the body, but unable to connect. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Head kick lands. Just misses there with the left. All right, 45 seconds now to go on the round. to go now. 30 seconds left. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Nice sneaky head kick. Nice punch land. Nice one two there.
What a fight. All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score the contest 48-47, 49-46, and 48-47. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon!